Now, I have some things here that I think it are uh, two, two quick, uh, two quick articles. I think that you guys would enjoy because they have to do with penis. Oh yeah, definitely. Peni. Okay. Let's hear it. All right. So the first one is from the Sun. <laughs> the first one is from the Sun. Here is the uh, the headline. The nose has it. I'm a doctor, and it's true. A man's nose can reveal how big his penis is. If you're planning on getting the tape measure out to measure your soldier, your soldier, then think again. One doctor said the age-old rumor of whether or not you can tell how big a man's penis is is by his nose size. It is. It's in fact true. I don't know how this. Let's see. Posting to TikTok, Dr. Anthony Yone revealed the connection. What is that connection? You might be asking. He said that people with smaller facial features might be feeling self-conscious. Uh, in one of the recent clips, Dr. Anthony told his followers that there is a significant correlation between the two measures. He explained a study published by Basic and Clinical Andrology found that those with larger noses have an average penile length of 5.3 inches, whilst people with shorter noses will sit at around 4.1 inches. The study also concluded that penile... God, I wish I was 4.1 inches. <laughs> <laughs> I can also confirm that this is completely false because I have large facial features. I have a massive head, big nose, little thick. <laughs> well, He's wrong. It's, He's it's wrong. just is it's, is Callie watching tonight? I hope so. Did, did you give her the link? Yeah. Okay. I always do. Hopefully that she hopefully she calls in. He explained a study published in. Yeah, the, he's right. He's got a little dick. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking god's fucking the young girl. <laughs> Uh, the study also concluded that penile length may not be determined by the height, weight, body weight, but actually before birth. Dr. Yone confirmed that this means Marvel's The Hulk will in fact have a tiny wee-wee, whereas Butthead from the comedy television show Beavis and Butthead would pack out his trousers. So... I don't know. Trousers. This is written by an Asian guy. It's an Asian guy. It's so weird because Asians have small noses, right? Yeah. Yes, they do. Are they known for having big horse cocks? I don't know. But listen, um, you, you just science can be conducted by anybody. Swedish guys have the biggest dicks, right? Swedish? I think so. Yeah. Oh, you know, I just got an email from a, a friend of mine, Mike the Psychic. He said. Uh, Chinese penis. The article was about Chinese who are tiny, not applicable to Europeans. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, Costa. Everyone knows that you're in Italian. You're throwing yourself in league with the Chinese. I'm below the Chinese. And I think <laughs> I think Indians have uh, the smallest. No. Yeah, that's true. I that's what Na I. Native American Indians? No, in uh, the country. In oh well, well, yeah, because there's so many of them. There's like a billion of those. Of those type of engines. Well, here's a, here's another one for you. The second one. <laughs> <laughs> Population has something to do with the dick size. And here's the second well, yeah, one that we got. More people, so there's more like baby dicks. More people, so less dicks to go around. We just there's just less and less every year. Here's another one. Man's penis rots after being bitten by a snake while sitting on a toilet in South Africa. Why would anybody sit on a toilet in Africa? Well, I would hold it in the entire time I was there. Everything that can jump out at you. A Dutch man. Oh. A wow. Dutch man had to undergo re reconstructive surgery on his penis after a cobra bit his manhood during a safari trip in South Africa, causing it to rot. Oh, God. Would you rather have gotten bit in the penis or right on the butthole? Because so the then you'd need surgery on your butthole. But this is the this is the the beauty of having a little dick because my penis doesn't fall down <laughs> when I'm pooping, right? It stays like basically like up near my body, practically going into my body. So <laughs> but he would've gotten my ass. He would still, you know, he would still get. He would gotten your bean bag. No, I barely have balls. Again, so, what, 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 what happened to you? Were you were you born next to a nuclear power plant or? No, I just I, my dad's bot. And he's probably, you know, so fucking god, this damn father of his. You know, your parents are so nice, and every time I see them, I'm like, wow, wow, Bob and Tammy are really nice. How, why did they vote for Joe Biden? My mom says hi, by the way. Really? Mm -hmm. Hi, Tammy. Why did she? Why did they do this? I don't know. They're otherwise very nice people. Yeah. I, they just go Democrat. I don't know. I don't understand it. Have okay. you ever been able to, to, to make any kind of headway, like to get them to admit like one thing? Never. Never? They don't admit when they're wrong. Okay. They're those types of people. I mean. Italian. Very what, Italian. Anyway, 
they just just cabados, you know what I mean? They just Okay, well, um, the 47-year-old victim suffered scrotal necrosis oh, oh, after the cold-blooded mm. serpent, which was lurking in the toilet bowl, attacked, according to urology case reports. In what the medical journal described as the first case of snouted cobra in, in venomation of the genitals, the unidentified man had to wait three hours before he was flown by helicopter to the nearest trauma center for some 220 miles away. Holy shit. So it was uh, everything, the uh, the penis and scrotum were noted to be swollen, deep purple in color, oh. and painful on hospital admission. Scrotal necrosis was diagnosed, and he received multiple doses of nonspecific snake venom, antiserum, and broad-spectrum antibiotics. He was also immediately, immediately given a COVID vaccine, too, probably. So... Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I just... I thought that those two things would be a good way to kick the show off, because... You know, every, we, we giggle like... I don't like that. I don't giggle about those things. Well, I mean, the, the word penis was in it, so... But it's being mutilated. I, yeah, but not like it's, like it's not like a... It's an accident. And it should be just one of those things where you keep it in the back of your mind when you go traveling to a place like South Africa that you either flush the, the, the toilet twice before you sit down, number one, and hover. That's another thing. Hover. Maybe do a little bit of a hovering and keep watching the mouth of that that uh, evac pipe okay that's why just just everybody just make sure <laughs>